Hey everyone, welcome into the Flipping Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Today we're unboxing more comics. So we did order another 100 comics from the Goodwill Blue Box curated boxes. They have boxes of 20 comics for $19.99 and then it's $7 shipping. So we ordered another 100 and you can see they're still in these packages. When you order more than one, they send them in these in one box. And unfortunately, they really don't give you a discount on shipping. So you still pay $7 per box, even though they all come in one box. But they do separate them into these bags. So because I ordered 100, that's five of the $20, 20 comic boxes. So I got five bags to go through. If you saw last week's unboxing, um, Keith had actually gotten to them before me because they arrived long before I was ready to film an unboxing. So he had already photographed them and started listing them and they were bagged and boarded. But these are going to come fresh out of this package. I will, in the description box, put the link to Goodwill for you. And I will also give you our affiliate link for the bags and boards that we've been buying right around $20 for our 100 bags and 100 boards, 100 of each. All right, I'm going to put my eyeballs on so that I can actually read these and see, and let's get into it. Captain America. This, I'm looking for a date, but I'm not. 1979, okay. So this one might actually be something. And it might not be. Star Slayer. With NBA Jam. I like the backs of them as much as I like the fronts. This is super goof. It says 15 cents, 1970. This is from 1970. Um, in the back, you can tell that this one's really old and vintage because look at all of those uh, toys and that kind of advertisement in the comics. Wacky Adventures of Cracky. So... I don't see a date right on here, but this has got to be 70s as well. Um, 204 Revolutionary War soldiers for only $1.98. Y'all, y'all, that's old. Probably older than me, and that's hard to do these days. Um, this is Time Walker, Harbinger Wars, part one of three. The backs of these are fun, too. This one is packaged, so I'm going to leave it alone and let Keith deal with that part. Um, Marvel variant edition of Avengers Fantastic Four Empire. Captain America. Looking for a day. This is 90s, I believe. Nick Fury. Oh, picking up more than one at a time, Star. Nick Fury. So we do take all of the boards and bags that they're shipped in here. We do take those off and replace them with our boards and bags. So they have brand new boards and bags. We advertise that in our listings as well. What we do with these old boards, we use them for shipping. Instead of cutting cardboard, we'll just stick in like three or four of those so it's really thick. The comic itself will be um, bagged and boarded and then it'll have those in the back. If we don't have any of those, we just got to use cardboard. And we put them in padded mailers that we get on eBay with our free shipping coupon every quarter. Dark Hawk. Dark Hawk. Oh, this is neat. I'm such a dork, but this is so cool. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my gosh. And look at Willem Dafoe back here when he was young. <laughs> I really wish I could see a date on this one. 91. The real Ghostbusters were the free giant full color pin up inside. Dun, dun, dun. This has got to be from early 80s because it's advertising the Terminator from 1984. Jeez, I feel old. Stop making me feel old. I don't know what happened here. Um... Apparently, the Green Hornet was trying to get out of his own comic. I don't know what happened. I don't want to know. Super Cops. 
The Green Hornet. Oh, I guess we should be looking at the back. Mr. Morales Spider-Man. So this is newer. Um, California out here, out there. Sorry, I know how to read, I promise. Not Adventure Time. <laughs> and, oh, Grumpy Cat. Her passed away. Do you guys remember Grumpy Cat? I was obsessed with Grumpy Cat. And it says Am Pokey. I kind of want to open it up and look. Just a little bit. You guys remember Pokey? Because you guys, first of all, do you remember Grumpy Cat? And Pokey was her brother that was black and white. Oh my goodness. There's Pokey. I really liked her. She was just so cute. And yes, she was a she. She lived in Arizona. I knew a lot about her because, like I said, I was obsessed with her. She's so cute. Let's get another one out. Gotta be careful when opening comics because you don't want to cut into your book. Watching me open things is painful. I apologize. Aquaman. With Suicide ad. Suicide? Suicide. Suicide Squad ad on the back. Knights of the Old Republic. Star Wars. Soul Calibur ad. More Knights of the Republic. I told you guys about my theory about getting a whole bunch alike in a row. One person probably donated them. And then when we purchased the bulk box. They just all got put in there, which is fine. This is um, more of a graphic novel than a comic. It's real thick. And it has the thicker covers. Spider-Man, City at War, Star Wars, with the uh, second six on the back there. Wolverine Encyclopedia. Brigade. Generation Gap, The Raid, Sovereign Seven, Battle Your Brains Out, guys. Ooh. Oh, Interview the Vampire. This is the Something Goes Wild. Can't read it. That would see Keith over it. <laughs> Keith over it. Tech World, William Shatner's. Oh, my goodness. William Shatner's text. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. William Shatner's Tech World. Um, that's so funny. And he's young there. Look at the back. I'm looking for a date, but I don't see one offhand. It's really cool. Stormwatch. Darkhawk with a Dungeons and Dragons advertisement. We've got Superman, King of the World. X Force. That one's ripped. I'll let Keith be the decider on stuff like that if he wants to go ahead and list it for less. Reflect the damage in the fight. Or just chalk it up as unlistable. And the Justice League. Alright, I'm going to go get the rest. I'm going to actually open the packs first and bring them over here. And then we'll look at them together. That way you don't have to go through the pain of watching me open something. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the last three packs opened already and here in three separate files to share with you guys. There's an adventure time or two or three. So this is somebody's probably entire one or one person donated all of those. Transformers. These are bagged and boarded. So again, we will throw these old bags away and put new bags and boards on them and keep the boards for shipping. J. Joe and Transformers. Got a couple of those couple of those. Black Panther Annual number one. With the Black Panther t-shirt on the back. Which Comic Fest Halloween. So this is a graphic novel. It says Disney Comics. Apparently there's a series. 
Howard Lovecraft and the Kingdom of Madness. So this is another Halloween comic fest. Got a couple of those. Um, oh, you're the villain. Villains are my favorite. I love Disney villains and I love comic book villains. In last week's comic unboxing, I was talking about how I love the villains in Batman. I think Batman, Gotham villains are the best villains of all time. He's the best villain. I like villains. I just do. <laughs> um, Race Warrior. This is a graphic novel here. All New Invaders, Gods and Soldiers. Pretty sick. Nice one. And another graphic novel, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Trial of Jean Grey, with all new X-Men. Those are pretty neat. This stack starts with another Halloween comic fest with Tony Stark. Another one, House of Fear. Pretty cool. Marvel team up, Spider Man and the Mighty Thor. 1984. Got a board on the back. Another Marvel team up, Spider Man and Jack, the Jack of Hearts. 1983. Another one with Spider Man and the Human Torch. 1984. So those are pretty cool. We've got Eternal Warrior from Valiant Comics. X-Men Adventures. Mortal Kombat on the back. This is Time Walker. Secret Weapons. There's a lot of these with the N NBA Jam on the back. Time Walker. NFL quarterback club. In what world? Maybe. Maybe I'm just projecting myself on other people. I was about to say, what world do they think nerds are interested in sports? But there probably are some nerds out there. I have a friend named Danny who's a nerd and a sports nut. So I'm just projecting myself on others. I guess nerds can like sports. The sports ball. Did you guys watch the the World Series or whatever it was last week. I'm kidding. I know it was a Super Bowl. Star Flare. The director's cut. Oh, no. Neymar. The <laughs> summary. So, I'm laughing because Neymar is one of the lamest comic <laughs> book characters. <laughs> and Keith and I do make fun of him often. The Fantastic Four from 1978. Oh my goodness, this is just as old as me. And the Halloween movies. Star Slayer. Lots of them with that NBA stuff on the back. This is Bloodshot versus Rampage. I'm not seeing a date right off the top of my face. Warlock out in the back. X-Men from 1984. They kind of look like Archie's comics, these 80s X-Men, don't they? Do they remind anybody else of, like, the characters from the Archie's comics? Eternal Warrior. Batman's on the bait. Vampire. This is all in um, another language. So hopefully Keith will be able to Google image it and find Because I can't read that. I mean, if you can, by all means. I'm sure it says vampire. But, I mean, if there's any other information... Um, Oh, by all means, if you can read this, let me know. Otherwise, we'll Google image it and get our information that way. We have Bloodshot and another Star Slayer. Lots of the NBA stuff, I'm telling you. All right, block that. Green Lantern. Hawk World. Uncanny Avengers. Ren and Stimpy. Looking for a date. I don't see one. But I watched Ren and Stimpy when I was in high school. So that was 1922. Okay. Hellstorm. I feel that old these days anymore. We have a DC Universe Halloween special from 2009 with 13 all new tales of terror. 
Star might have to read this one. I might have to look at this one before we did, or after we lift it, even before it sells. Go bots. Go bots. It's about Tom Scully on the back there. Transformers. Oh my goodness. Batman Detective Comics. I was talking about these in last week's comic unboxing video as well. 1998. And he was a detective. Transformers. Transformers Return. Shadowhawk. Convergent. I, I know I'm a nerd. You don't need to tell me. I already know. You don't need to comment. Let me know. I'm aware. Big nerd. Aaron Warner's Pariah. X Men Adventures. 1992. It's really small. The Sixth Gun. Another Halloween comic fest. This one is House of Fear. Didn't we already have this one? We did. So we have two of the same one. Rise of Incarnate. Gosh, Star. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. And last but not least, out of this pack, it's Hyperdoll. So that is our latest comic haul. And um, Keith will get them photographed and listed in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll be ordering more and I'll be back. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video or reselling in general, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Oh, and I will also, like I said, I will put the link to the Goodwill blue boxes down below and the affiliate link to our bags and boards. Thanks for watching, guys. Go be productive. Go make some money. Y'all are the best. Bye.